Z, the Sexy Grandma 2K, and I'm coming at you today with a video that's going to be an edition of my travel nurse vlog. So you guys, this is going to be an informative video regarding my corporate housing through Hello Landing. This video has been highly requested, so I thought I would just go ahead, make it, give you all the deets. <laughs> So that y'all can get on my DMs. <laughs> Generally, you guys, I make videos on hair, makeup reviews, uh, fashion, and vlogging. And now my travel nurse vlog, I've incorporated that. So this video is geared towards my travel nurses. I'm going to be telling you everything that I know about Hello Landing. I've done some additional research, plus share with you my experience. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep watching. If not, then click on one of my other videos. All right, love you. Ah! So this is a lot, and I mean a lot of information. So I'm gonna try to break it down as best I can. You might as well go on and pull up a chair because this video is gonna be long, long. But I definitely wanted to give you all the information. Now, let me just throw out a quick disclaimer. <laughs> This is not a sponsored video. I wish it was. Holla at your girl, Hello Landing. <laughs> but this is not a sponsored video, guys. I do not work for Hello Landing. I'm just giving you the information that I found while doing my research before getting into the Hello Landing network. All of this information comes strictly from their, their website or is my own personal experience. So the way I'm going to break this down is I'm just going to give, I'm just going to spill all the tea first, okay? And then I'm going to tell you about the different types of stays that they offer. And then I'm going to tell you about what is included in your apartment. Okay. If you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my notes. But anyway, Hello Landing is a network of furnished apartments that you can rent across the country. Um, their founder and CEO, his name is Bill Smith. He's out of Alabama, which is where Hello Landing was first started. They've now expanded and have three different offices. They're in Birmingham, Alabama, San Francisco, California, and Mexico City, Mexico. They are fully furnished apartments. They have over 20,000 apartments in their network and growing. They operate out of 375 plus cities in the United States so far. And I think I did see a video um, from this Bill Smith that they're looking to expand into other countries as well. In addition to growing their network larger in the United States. So I don't think they're in other countries just yet. I did get a question from one of you guys asking me that. And from what I saw, I don't think they've expanded yet. They have Thank over you. 450 plus team members in the Hello uh, Landing um, organization. And they have interior designers who, okay, you guys, so what they do is they shop the, the warehouses. So Hello Landing has warehouses that they keep, I guess they buy like the furnishings in bulk. So like the dishes, the couches, the bedding, just everything that they decorate the apartment with or stock the apartment with. They have warehouses that the employees, these interior designers, they go and pull from in order to decorate your, your apartment. So if you've noticed, I've done three videos thus far, you guys, and I'll leave a playlist up here of those as well as probably leave it at the end of this video and in the description box. But I've done three videos of three different apartments that I've lived in. And if you've noticed in those videos, you're going to see a lot of the same um, furnishings. So they pull all of your furnishings and everything from this warehouse. So Hello Landing does um require a membership in order to be a part of the network they do charge at the time of me filming this a 199 dollar annual membership fee but don't you fret my pet because i have a discount code that's going to give you 250 dollars off your first month's rent 
which will pay for that membership fee. So when you book your first apartment, they're going to charge you that fee and you can use my discount code and it's going to pay that $199 fee plus give you $51 towards your first month's rent. Okay, so don't worry about like, oh my God, $199? Just use my discount code and then that way it's taken care of. Oh, and also once you move into your apartment, they're going to send you your own discount code so you can take your code and share it with other people. And what the discount code does, you guys, is if you use my code, you get $250 off your first month rent and I get $250 off my rent. So when you get your own code, every time you share it with someone and they use it to book an, uh, to move into an apartment, then you will get $250 off of your rent. So that's how that works. The nice thing about Hello Landing is if you are not completely satisfied within the first seven days, uh, they're going to make it right. So you got to make sure when you, if you move into your apartment within that first seven days, if you're not happy with something, you make the phone call. Don't call them on day eight and nine. Call them in that first seven days because they're going to make it right. They're either going to move you to a different apartment or, or whatever it is going to take to make it right. Now, after that first seven days, you have to stay in that apartment 30 days before you can move to the next one. So that's why I said, don't call them on day eight, call them within that first seven day period and you can, you can switch apartments, no questions asked. And when I say no questions, I'm not telling you what I heard, I'm telling you what I did. So watch my other videos and you'll see that I moved from one apartment to another and why I moved. Other great thing about them is that there are no security deposits, no application fees. Um, your utilities will be set up before you even arrive to the apartment. They have an app, you guys, that is so easy to use. Like you do everything from that app. They give you all the information on how to find your apartment. If you have a security code on your door or a code for maybe you're moving into a complex that's a gated community, they'll have the code for the gate in there on your app. Um, they'll have all the information you need on where to pick up your keys or your key fobs. Um, just Anything, the, the information about all the amenities and how to utilize them, like how to access them, um, how to set up your Wi-Fi, anything you need for moving in, anything you need to do to move out, it's all communicated through their app. If you have a maintenance need, you can contact them via phone or on the app. It is just, it's so seamless, it's so easy. I love, love, love the app. Every apartment is outfitted with stylish finishings. Um, there's spaces for work, spaces for leisure, um, and a fully equipped kitchen, you guys. When I say fully equipped, I mean fully. Again, watch my other videos and I show you everything that's, that was in my kitchen. And just, I show you the whole apartment, everything. So again, your utilities and Wi-Fi will be connected before you arrive. Everything you need is included from um, necessary toiletries to pots and pans. And that was another thing that I really liked, you guys. I didn't have to drag in like a bunch of dish soap, laundry soap, like all of this stuff. They provide you with like enough just to get you started so that you have time to kind of get into your apartment, relax before you got to head to Walmart, Costco's, whatever, and buy your stuff. At least you'll have enough to get you started. And it's just so thoughtful, the things that they thought of including in the apartment. It just really made it very, very nice. Let me tell you how it all works. So with landing, they make it easy for you to find a furnished apartment across the country. All you have to do is you can either use their website and go online or download the app. You're going to put the city you're looking for in the search box. It's going to pull up available apartments in that city. It's going to have all the information. It's going to have the pricing for the rent and all of that. 
um, it's going to give you virtual tours. They're going to give you a virtual tour of either the apartment you're going to move in or a model apartment, okay? So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. I just kind of want to keep this moving. After you find the apartment in the city you're going to, you're going to reserve that apartment. Um, then once you reserve it, what they're going to do is they're going to get started with a background and a credit check. And once you're approved, you become a member. Now their credit check, I think it depends on like what apartment you're moving in initially, but they don't do like a hardcore hit to your credit. Mine was more of like a soft hit. So my credit score didn't like Plymouth with them just checking um, that one time. And the other nice thing is they don't keep checking it over and over and over so like I know myself with my contracts I I've been doing the 13 week contracts so they're not going to do a new fresh hit every 13 weeks as I move from one apartment to the next apartment no ma'am once I'm in the network I'm good um, so it said on their website that landing does run a background check through core logic while landing's background check does not affect your credit score, some property partners require a deeper screening that could affect your score. So, and that was totally my experience. I didn't really notice that it affect my score. Uh, you never pay security deposits or application fees as a member. So you don't gotta keep filling out applications, paying fees, putting a security deposit down. No, no, and no. We're not doing that. Um, so fees and taxes. Some additional fees or taxes you may be charged. Um, you may be required to pay if you have pets. You might have to pay extra for pets. You may have to pay extra for like parking. So like for example, um, the one of the complexes I lived in had garages. Like you could do the regular, the regular parking in the complex or you could request a garage parking. And which it did, like if I got the regular one, no additional fee. But if I wanted my own personal garage, then I had to pay, I think they were charging $200 a month more for the garage parking. So I was like, uh, we don't need that, we're good. <laughs> And I just parked my little self right in the regular parking. But just so you know, some comp some apartment complexes do offer um, additional parking, like garage parking. And you may have to pay a fee. Some complexes charge additional fees for their amenities. If that's the case, then you will have to pay additional to use them. But all the ones that I've been um, involved in thus far, my amenities have been included with my rent. So I've had no additional amenity fees. Again, if you watch my videos where I've lived, they look like resorts. They have full um, workout areas. Um, one area, like we, we had a movie theater. We had like a billiard kind of area where there were pool tables, dark games. Like the whole clubhouse was accessible to me. So that has been my case with the, every apartment I've lived in thus far. I have not had to pay additional for amenities at all. Um, they've all also are, have been very pet friendly. I'm not a pet person, but they have been very pet friendly. They have like the pet, um, you know, uh, playgrounds and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know if they charged additional for pets because I don't have one. But there are, it's just very inclusive and nice. So you don't have to feel like, oh my God, I got a pet. I can't do this. So if there are additional charges, um, these will be communicated to you before the reservation is ever finalized. Landing may be required to charge certain taxes according to local tax laws. Fortunately, I'm in a state that is tax free and I haven't been charged taxes. So yay me! Okay, so when you go and you book on the website or the app, you may be charged, depending on if you're doing a flexible plan or a standard plan, and we'll talk more about those in a minute, but depending on how long your stay is going to be, you may be charged a move out fee at that time. So let's just say if you're only staying 30 days, 
They're going to charge you the rent. You're going to be charged for your utilities. You're going to be charged any taxes and fees, and you're going to be charged a move out fee for cleaning your apartment and everything. So just so I'm real transparent, those things you will see on your bill, depending on the type of stay you've selected. Okay. And we'll talk more about that. How many people can live with you? Well, there can be up to two people per bedroom and they must be added to your reservation during your verification process. So they just need to know if you're bringing someone along with you, who's, who else will be staying in the apartment with you. Um, and I think that's just for safety reasons or whatever. They just need to know who else is there. Pet policy. Okay, so let's talk about that. So the pet policy, you can have a combination of up to two dogs or cats as long as the property you're staying at does allow it. You will need to upload a recent photo of your pet, record, uh, send a record of their vac vaccinations, and include any rabies vaccines. If you're bringing an emotional support animal or a service animal, you will need to upload their ESA or their SA certificate before moving in. You just upload the documents for any pets that I've mentioned and to your reservation and you'll be um, finished with your booking. So they just need to know what pets you have. Now I'm gonna scoot over here because girl, and boy, there are a list, and I'm going to display it right here. There is a list of certain breeds that are not allowed in the net, in the Hello Landing apartments. So even if the apartment complex says that you can bring a pet, there are certain pets that they do not allow to stay with you in the landing network. And this is a list of those pets. Now, this was the list at the time of me filming this. Make sure you go online and you check it for yourself if you have pets so that you can make sure you're in compliance and you won't have any issues. Okay, I'm going to scoot back over. Now, let me just say, for some reason, you go through this whole process and you do not complete or pass um, the verification process then your membership will be refunded to you within 14 days. I also want to mention that all landings are smoke-free, and many of the properties they work with are smoke-free as well. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just giving you the information. <laughs> okay, and again, with the parking, rates may vary depending on where you stay and what kind of parking is available. If you need to add or remove a parking spot, just contact the member services team and they can help you out with finding out how much it costs for additional spot, if that's available or whatever. Okay. So I just want to let you know also Hello Landing has a cleaning service available. So if maybe you don't have time to clean your apartment, um, they do offer a cleaning service. Now there is an additional fee for that. And at the time I looked, and I think it's based off of, you know, again, where you're located and the size of your apartment. So they're definitely gonna charge you more to clean a four bedroom than they would a one bedroom. So I think that I went on there and I looked at mine for my two bedroom where I'm located. And I wanted to say the cleaning fee was like $295. And I'm like, uh, I'm good. I can clean this myself. And that's just for a one time clean. So you can definitely book multiple appointments to clean. Um, but it, the price that you see is going to be for one time. And you just go again on that wonderful app I told you about and you schedule your cleaning dates. And then they just charge you through the app and they come and clean your apartment on the dates that you chose. Now they do ask when they clean your apartment that you not be there. They won't clean it if you're there because they want the people to be able to get in, do what they got to do and get on out, okay? So what I did find out is that, um, again, with the cleaning service, it's a one-time or a recurring fee. So you can set it up however you want. And the rates are based on the home size and the property. And what they do is they disinfect the entire home. 
They perform a detailed clean in every room. So like for instance, in the kitchen, they just ask that you throw all the dishes in the sink and they'll clean the dishes. They'll clean the whole kitchen. They'll, uh, you know, clean, clean every room. They strip your, uh, well, they ask you to strip the bedding off, but you just take the bedding off. They clean all of your bedding, your sheets, your duvets, everything. So they, uh, they will sweep, mop, and vacuum every floor. They wash, again, all your linen. They empty all the trash. And all of this, you know, like they clean your windows, your doorknobs, all that kind of crap. And then it takes them about two to three hours to completely clean your um, apartment. And what they do is they send you a message on the app when they're done cleaning your apartment and then that's your cue to come you're, that you're free to come on back home and i think if you're i thought i read on there it said that if you were there when they show up to clean they're gonna charge you that cleaning fee but they're not gonna clean because they're not gonna clean while you in there so go on and get your stuff and get on out <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so what I did was I went on I read through the frequently asked questions and I decided to pull some of those out because I thought it was some good information so one of the questions was can I bring my own furniture and what hello landing says is that they strive to have everything you need to live fully but you may bring anything that will make you feel more comfortable however they ask that you don't bring large items of furniture as well as they ask that you don't remove anything from their apartment that they've put in here so another question was can i rent or sublet during my stay child no no you cannot rent out their apartment that they rent to you Period. And I request extra beds. And it said that Landing does not provide additional beds. So no. Does Landing own its apartments? So with Hello Landing, rather than building new units or buildings, Landing just partners with local property developers, managers, and owners in each market in order to secure existing apartments. And then they take them and they transform them into landing apartments by decorating them and using the furnishings from the landing warehouse. So they would take all the other furnishings out and they're going to furnish it with the landing stuff, guys. Okay, so that's why you'll see a lot of the same things in every apartment. Can I tour a home before looking? So this is one of the things that I wanted to come back to you with about the virtual tours. So you can request a virtual tour on the app or on that website. Uh, and like I said, some of the tours are of the actual apartment you're going to be living in. And some of the tours may be of a model apartment. Now me personally, I only choose the apartments that I can see the actual apartment I'm going to be living in. I don't care about no model apartment. I want to see what do the apartment look like that I'm going to be in since I can't physically go there and tour it myself. So they don't allow you to physically show up and take a walk through the apartments. One, some of them may already have people living in them. Um, that did happen to me with one apartment. There was still somebody living in there. Um, and they like moved out, I think, maybe two or three days before I moved in. They came in, they cleaned everything, you know, moved everything in and out, whatever they do. And then the apartment was nice, fresh and new for me. But they do not allow you to physically come and tour the apartments. They only do the virtual tours. They have on the website also a floor plan laid out that you can see what the actual floor plan is. It tells you how many square footage the apartment is. Um, it walks you through the apartment as well as you can see um, on the virtual tours that shows you the grounds of the uh, apartment complex. So you definitely get a feel of what the apartment looks like without physically being there. But no, they won't let you physically tour the apartment. Okay, another question. How long can I live with landing? Stay start at 30 nights if you book. A flexible stay, you can stay as long as you'd like. 
Rates vary based on the duration of the stay. If you would like to extend your stay, just use the landing app or call them. And we're gonna talk about, again, the different types of stay. There's three different stays that I've seen. There's the standard stay, there's the flexible stay, and they just started this new standby stay. So we're gonna talk about those different stays here momentarily. Another question, how do I transfer homes? You can transfer to another landing within the network with just two weeks notice. So after you've stayed in your landing for 30 days, you can move to any other landing home with a two week notice. So you have to give them a two week notice that you're gonna be moving out of one apartment and then you schedule when you're gonna move into your next apartment. So it can definitely be the same day you move out of one, you move into the other, um, but you have to give them a two week notice that you're moving out of an apartment. So there's no additional um, application fees to transfer apartments. There's no deposit that you need to transfer apartment. Again, you just give them that two week notice. Um, if you'd like a change of scenery, use the landing app to transfer your apartment or you can call them. So that's the thing that I absolutely love. So let's say you stayed here for 30 days and then you're like, okay, I'm, I want to get closer to work or I want to get further from work or I just want a change of scenery. You just give them the two weeks notice and you go ahead and you move from one apartment to a different apartment. And now you have a completely different change of scenery. Man, it don't get no better than that. <laughs> How do I move in and out of my landing home? Well, this is where that app comes into play. And again, I love that app. You can choose, okay, so when you're moving in, you can choose to have a contactless um, move in, or you can choose to have a landing representative come and meet you. They're called landing hosts. They can come and meet you. They'll give you your keys, your key fobs. They'll tell you kind of about the area, or you can choose to do a contactless one. Um, and what they'll do with the contactless is in the app, they'll leave you all the information of where to pick up your keys. Um, I know in one of my apartment, I just had to go right to the apartment and the keys were waiting for me on the counter. So, and then another apartment, they just gave me the security code and I put in the security code and voila, I was in my apartment. I had my key fobs and my keys and everything. Another one, I met with a landing host. She was absolutely wonderful. She gave, handed me my keys. She told me about things in the area. And an, another thing that I like is that they leave these little snacks and stuff for you. They give you a little welcome card, like welcome to your new landing apartment. You know, just a little extra touches or whatever. But that's the great thing about it. You can have a contactless a move in and out, or you can have a host meet you to move in, but then moving out, they will send you all the information on the app telling you where to leave the keys and you know to sign out of all of the Wi-Fi stuff and what all you need to do and make sure you leave a stuff in the apartment, okay? And make sure you drop them keys off or leave them wherever they tell you to leave them. Because if you don't have your keys and your key fobs to turn back in, they're going to charge you $250 per key and key fob. Okay? So, we're not doing that. Give them people their keys back. <laughs> okay, guys. Also, I want to stress when you're moving out. You want to make sure that you move out on the day you said you're going to move out. Otherwise, go on the app or call them and put in an extension for your stay. And the reason I say that is because you have to move out by 11 uh, a.m. is move out time. So you have to be totally out of the apartment by 11 a.m. on whatever date you had set. Okay, if not, they're going to charge you $100 per hour until 5 p.m., okay? So that's already $600 right there, um, or $500. Then they're going to charge you twice the monthly, no, they're going to charge you twice the nightly rate until you move out that apartment. 
Ain't nobody doing that when you could have just called them or went on that app and put in an extension that you wasn't ready to go. So make sure if you say you're going to move out on this date, you move out by 11 a.m. Otherwise, put in an extension and ask for an extension and just pay a little bit more to stay an extra day or whatever you got to do. Okay, okay, guys, so let's talk about those different stays. So with your stays, let's just let me just run through the basics that you're going to get for each stay, okay? You're going to be charged the $199 annual membership fee. You're going to get a fully furnished living space. You're going to get seamless options to transfer across 375 plus cities, on-site 24-7 support, either through the app or via phone. Um, you're going to get no deposit, no application fees. You're going to have a peace of mind guarantee. You're going to have a stay as long as you like, or you can stay for a shorter period of time. You're going to get a parking available with all apartments and you have pet friendly options. The standard stay is you're going to book, when you book your apartment, you're going to let them know when you want to move in and when you want to move out. Okay, so standard stays are best for people who, like with me being a traveling travel nurse, if I knew I was only going to stay someplace for 13 weeks, I might want to utilize the standard stay option. Now, Hello Landing is not just for travel nursing, guys. It can be any healthcare worker. It can be any type of business owner or worker. Anybody who has the need for a furn fully furnished apartment, okay? So, um, the standard stay is going to cost you a little bit more because you're staying for a shorter period of time. So, it requires at least a 30-day stay. Okay, and then um, it's going to charge you your, your monthly rent. It's going to charge you utilities. So for every landing apartment, you will get charged a utility fee. So you don't have to uh, come in and set your utilities up and make arrangements for them to get turned on and put in your name and all of that. You don't have to do any of that. It is, in, it is going to be added to your bill when your rent is due. So when you get your statement that has your, your rent amount, it's going to show your rent amount, it's going to show your utility amount. Now, if you're under a standard stay, you're going to have rent, utility, taxes and fees, and a, a move out for cleaning charge. Okay, so I'm not sure if the move out cleaning charge is based on the size of the apartment and where you're located, but there will be an additional charge for your move out. Okay, so everybody is going to get a move out charge. It's just a matter of when you get it. A flexible stay requires a six month commitment. So you're, you're not really, um, so what that means is you know that you're going to be living in a landing property for at least six months. This is what I chose to do because I knew that I was going to be on a 13 week assignment and then I was going to go to do another 13 week assignment, either via an extension or via in a different city. So I knew that I would be able to keep a six month commitment because I'm going to be out here traveling at least six months. Now, when they say a six month commitment, that does not mean you have to stay in the same apartment for six months. It just means that you have to commit to being a flexible member for the six months. So, for instance, I extended my contract one time. So, I stayed in a, a, a flexible apartment for three months. I extended and stayed another three months. So, that equaled my six-month commitment. Now, I'm, I can still stay under the flexible program. I don't move out until I tell them I want to move out. But I have to stay at least six months. And I hope I'm making sense what I'm saying.
Now, after that six months, when I get ready to move out, I also am going to get charged a move out cleaning fee. Now, I can tell you guys, I did look at mine and for the size of my apartment and where I'm currently located, my move out cleaning fee is going to be, I think it was $275. So everybody gets charged a move out cleaning fee and it's so that they can clean the apartment, replace things they need to replace, whatever. Okay, so that is going to be charged. Now with the flexible program, every month when I get my statement, what I have on my statement is I have my monthly rent, I have my utility fee. Now I will tell you, and again, please, 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 this can be different for everybody. I'm just letting you know what I pay for utilities based on where I'm at and the size of my apartment. I'm in a two bedroom. My utility fee is $295. Now that includes all of my electricity, my Wi-Fi, all of the utilities. So that's what I am currently being charged for my utility fee. Now yours could be different. I don't know if everybody's is the same. I have no idea. I don't know if they charge more for a bigger place or less for smaller, but I was just kind of throwing out there what I'm paying for utilities. And for me, I'm fine with that. Um, so I have my monthly rent and I have my utilities on my bill. And I also get charged a 2.9% convenience fee. And what that is for is because I charge my apartment on my credit card because I want to get the perks from the points of my credit card. So that's just something that I personally choose to do. And they charge you a 2.9% processing fee if you do that. Now, you don't have to put it on your credit card. You can have it set up to be a direct withdrawal from your bank account. And if you do that, you will not get charged a 2.9% credit fee. It'll just come right out of your bank account, okay? So just so you guys know that. If you set it up that way, they still require you to have a credit card on file, but they do not charge that credit card. And I don't know, but I think the reason they do that is because for some reason, if, yo, if they go to charge your rent and it bounce, then they gonna stick it on that credit card. <laughs> but that's just me saying that. Um, but that's how that works. So if you don't wanna pay that additional 2.9%, um, processing fee, then you can have it directly withdrawn from your bank oh. account. That's all that I get charged, my rent, my utilities, and that um, other um, credit card fee. And I could definitely get rid of that credit card fee by having it directly withdrawn from my account, but I don't want to. <laughs> the third type of stay that they have is something new that they just started and it's called a standby stay. Now you guys, I haven't done much research on the standby stay because it's not really something that I'm interested in. But what it is, is you stay in an apartment that's not being um, uh, rented out and you only pay $1,295 for that apartment. So I think it, you know, it depends on what's available. Now, the problem with it is that if at any time somebody books the apartment that you're standing in, so staying in, so if somebody that has a standard membership or that's signing up for a flexible stay, if somebody books that apartment that you're staying in, then you only have three days to move out of that apartment and into a different landing apartment. So I didn't want the frustration, even though it's only $1,295 a month, I don't want the frustration of not having the stability to know that I'm in my apartment for however long I booked my apartment for. So you could be getting like, you know, in my own opinion, I don't know, you could be getting jacked around, moving one apartment, somebody book it, now you gotta move out into another apartment, and then somebody book that one, now you gotta move into another apartment. I don't wanna do that. So, but there is that option to be a standby stay um, 
member. Now, if you choose to do standby stay, you can also roll into a standard or flexible if you decide later you want to do that instead. And I'm not sure if they charge the $199 fee for you to be a standby member. I want to say yes, but I did not look, to be perfectly honest, you guys. So if that's something that you're interested in, just go on the website and read all about it, okay? I think, you guys, that's pretty much all that I have. I hope I've given you all the information that you need about Hello Landing. Um, for me, it's perfect because I'm a novice at traveling. So my biggest stressor was trying to find somewhere to live. And I am not an Airbnb person. I've never done furnished finders. Actually thinking about that just kind of makes me nervous. I would rather just stay in a well-known hotel chain only because I'm kind of a weirdo. I be thinking like people be putting cameras in their place to see what you are doing and make sure they you taking care of their place. And I don't want you watching me. And you guys, I'm just afraid of being scammed. I didn't want to have to show up and it's not what the picture showed on the internet. And also, I don't want to have to keep having dings to my credit score because it took me a long time to build my credit up. And I don't want to get it knocked down just because I'm travel nursing and keep getting dings for apartments. Um, and I didn't want to have to pay deposits. So all of those things rolled together are things that I don't have to worry about with Hello Landing. So although some people feel like, oh, that's a waste of money, it costs more, and blah, 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 blah. I'm okay with that because of the sense of security that it gives me. Not to mention, I don't know if it costs more or not. I never checked Furnish Finders. I never checked Airbnb. So it could be pretty compatible. So I would say if you're somebody who are okay with doing the Airbnb route, the Furnish Finders route, definitely compare the pricing of those things with the Hello Landing pricing. You might find that this is a much better option for you. If you're a novice like me and it's your first time out of the gate and you want to just try it until you get more experience, I would much rather do this than stay in a hotel because I'm spread out, I'm comfortable, and I love having the amenities that I have, and I love feeling like I'm living on vacation, but I'm still comfortable when I get home from a long, long day's work, okay? So I have a certain standard of living that I'm accustomed to, and I'm gonna maintain that while I'm out in these travel nurse streets, so this gives me the option to be able to do that. Now I say to myself, and this is just a personal preference, as long as my rent is not more than one week of pay, then I'm okay with that. I'm okay with spending one week of pay for my monthly rent or less. <laughs> but I'm not going over one week's of pay because then it doesn't make this worth it for me because I'm having to duplicate expenses. So no, we're we not doing that. But this just gives me the security, the peace of mind, the comfort, the luxury, everything all rolled up into one nice little bundle. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. If I know the answer, I'm more than happy to answer it. If you're just diving into travel nursing, please do your homework. Whew, this is a lot. This is a whole, whole lot. It's a whole different way of living. It's a whole different way of working. So make sure you do your homework so that you're not jumping out of the frying pan into the fire thinking you knew something that you didn't know. Also, personally, I would say if you're new to traveling, if you don't have at least two to $5,000 in the bank, you might want to hold off on that because there's going to be expenses that you didn't, that you never even considered and you don't want to be out here. Let me just mind my own business. That's all I'm going to say about that, okay? All right, y'all. I love you to pieces. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out my other videos that I did on the Hello Landing Apartments. 
and be blessed, blessed, blessed. If you are a Weezette, thank you so much for watching this. Even if you don't have a need to know this, you guys always support me and I love you for it. So be blessed. You guys, this is Weezy, the sexy grandma 2K. And remember what I always say, to show somebody a little piece of heaven today. Bye guys, be blessed.